Alright, so today we're going to be taking one of these voltage, um, switching voltage regulators off. They are, well, they act like uh, DC to DC converters. But we're going to use the hot air gun and a little flux and pop her off just to show you, you know, bigger SMDs to detach. So we're going to apply some flux first. Hopefully, not too much. That's plenty. That's a lot of flux. And apply it here on the pins. We want to yeah, just apply it to the pins and try to scoop some of that out. All right, that's plenty. All right, so my JBC hot air gun station is set to 47, I'm knocking it down a little bit, the airflow, and the temperature's still at 420. So here we go. So this heats up a little bit. And if you notice, I laid down cap, uh, Kapton tape to, you know, add a little heat resistant to nearby DC to DC converters. I'm going to wait till they'll shine up. Just take a look at the pads. Everything looks good. Kind of lost a uh, grip there. It flew on one of the heat sinks, but let's take a look at the chip. Make sure it's not damaged. Everything looks good. Now I'm going to put it back on the hashboard. Let me take a look at pin one. Put that back on. Put it back on. So I got it securely in my tweezers here. And I'm just going to apply heat to those pads. Oops. Heat up for a second. Ready to go. Watcher. Just a little. Keeping that heat on there. Should be good if you do it up just a little with those pins. It should be significant. Let her cool down for a second. Okay, let's see if she's attached. This DC to DC converter is reattached. Just wanted to show you using the hot air gun and Kapton tape to um, make sure these other DC to DC converters don't come off. We hope you found this content helpful. If you did, please consider sharing and liking this video to help train and support our industry. Your engagement helps us reach more technicians, enthusiasts, ensuring the valuable knowledge is spread throughout the community. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming content, where we'll continue to provide in-depth demonstrations and insights into the ASIC repair and diagnostic industry. Thank you for watching and happy repairing.
May your repairs be swift and your mining profitable.